This morning, two dedicated public servants speaking truth to power in the face of withering public criticism from President Trump and his allies. We are joined here on set by MSNBC legal analyst Maya Wiley, who previously worked in the civil division of the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York. Also by my wing woman on these mornings, former Democratic Senator from Missouri and current MSNBC political analyst Claire McCaskill and former U.S. Attorney, now professor at the University of Alabama School of Law and MSNBC contributor Joyce Vance. Two big flashpoints this morning, two moments that will re be remembered long after this morning's public session ends. One, Lieutenant Colonel Vindman correcting a harsh line of questioning from Devin Nunes, the president's uh, mini-me in the House, if you will, who called him Mr. Vindman. That followed an opening statement where he said to his father, Dad, it's safe to tell the truth here. The second flashpoint, Devin Nunes seemingly trying to out the whistleblower with a line of questioning there. Claire, what stood out to you this morning? I think, um, once again, the witnesses that have been called clearly are not political. I mean, for gosh sakes, this woman worked as a field uh, in the field for Bush Cheney running for president yeah. and then found her way into the Foreign Service from a clearly political beginning of her career. So right. any attempts to couch these witnesses and how powerful was that opening statement of Lieutenant Colonel when he said in Russia, if I were in Russia and speaking truth to power, uh, even if I respected and did it behind closed do doors, it would be a problem. And frankly, if I did it publicly like this, I would be killed. Let me read him. So this is what Colonel Vindman testified to in his opening statement. In Russia, my act of expressing my concerns to the chain of command in an official and private channel would have severe personal and professional repercussions. And offering public testimony involving the president would surely cost me my life. I am grateful for my father's brave act of hope 40 years ago and for the privilege of being an American citizen and public servant where I can live free of fear for mine and my family's safety. Not the whole picture. There are news accounts um, in the Wall Street Journal. I believe they were the first to report the Washington Post, and 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 I'm I'm fairly confident NBC has also confirmed that the Army has a plan for relocating, relocating them and um, giving him security. Right. Stunning. Yeah, it's absolutely an impressive morning for these witnesses who, as everyone has pointed out, are so clearly fact witnesses. These are career professionals. And every effort that's been made by the Republicans to, to take away from their testimony has failed, particularly this effort with Ms. William to try to get her to say that Pence's failure to attend the, the inauguration of the Ukrainian president was just something that happened because the Secret Service hadn't done its job. And she pushed back firmly, saying she didn't know what the president's thinking was, but it was clear that there was a direct order from the president. That sort of demeanor has characterized their testimony, this truthfulness. And we haven't said enough about Ms. Williams. She's here. She is also a firsthand witness to the call between Donald Trump and President Zelensky. Notably, she says that while she listened to the call and she spoke about her concerns with her superior, Mr. Kellogg, she did not have a conversation with the vice president. That's her testimony, right? Right. And she put the record of the call in his briefing book. She put the transcript, the summary transcript there, too. She just doesn't know whether the vice president read them or not. But I think that that's something that we'll hear more about, right? Because typically, if you're preparing a briefing book for your principal, the expectation is that they'll know what's in there. An important call like this, how unlikely would it be that the vice president wouldn't have at least given it a once over? And we are very well, lucky. I don't know. He works for President oh. Trump, who never <laughs> reads anything. Exactly. So who knows? Exactly. <laughs> Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.